Hey guys, Ben Funderburg with Hey Man Fishing. Today we're doing some scoping for crappie. I'm gonna show you my setup and how I go about doing that. This is, uh, we're in toward the, about the middle, toward the end of uh, October. And um, these crappie, they pretty much, in my opinion, they scattered. I got a uh, place we're gonna fish is some stumps. And we're gonna to try to single those crappy out and cast to them with casting spoons and uh, some rubber jigs and uh, try to pick up some big ones. So stay tuned. Okay guys, when you get out there on the water and you wanna get set up in the right position, uh, you wanna, be on the facing the wind so you can keep that forward scanner on your target whether it's uh, stumps brush or just a uh, single fish just moving out and about that way you have a better chance to make an accurate cast and uh, get down on target now I'm out here on the main lake and I got a quite a few uh, this lake's got some underwater islands and it's got brush on it some of them's got uh, stumps on it uh, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search that those stumps and I'm gonna search brush piles to see if I see any fish and then I'm gonna cast to them now I'm using a uh, cotton cordell one quarter ounce and also a three eighths and in that uh, and when you're casting those those casting spoons you're not only gonna pick up crappies but you're gonna pick up brim and uh, bass uh, they're gonna be hanging around that which is good I mean, I, I take the bass any day. It's a good fight. Um, so, let's see. I got the wind blowing this way. I'm in a good position. And uh, like you can see right here, uh, I got, here's my boat. And I got brush already marked out here. So, I'm going to head in that direction and uh, stay in the right position with the wind so I can... Uh, scope out there uh, with my forward scanner and cast to them and i'll show you what settings i have now i use live scope of course uh there's other uh forward scanners out there but i'm more familiar with live scope so i'll show you what i'm using on my settings and of course those settings will change depending on the water clarity uh on your lake so what i'm using may not work for uh uh, your lake but i mean uh, the, the, the initial setup uh, you can adjust from there uh, whether the water's muddy or you got trash in the water so let's get started with this i'm gonna move up on target with this these brush and um stumps in the water and we're gonna use that uh casting spoon for starters and throw out to them and see if we can pick up some Good crappy here. Yeah. All day long on them casting spoon. Yeah, there he is. Now, buddy, I believe what I got here is a bass. Yeah, I believe this is a bass coming up here. He's pulling too hard. Pulling too hard. He come up and got that thing. So he says, catch the spoons versatile. He's gonna catch back. Oh, he come off. He come off. Going right over top of it. Oh, oh, he's on there. He's on there. I got a crappy up, please, boys. Yeah. I believe I got a little tiny crappy. Yeah, I believe it's a little tiny crappy here. Come on up here. <laughs> oh, no. Look at that, fellas. Old brim. I got some brush out in front of me. And uh, I'm throwing down there to it. Let's throw over top of it. Maybe get a big old crappy grab it. Come on. One of you grab it. 
Oh, somebody got it. Somebody got it right here. Yeah. Got us a crappy right top of that brush pile. Come on over here. There you go. Crappy off the brush. Brush pile. Oh, 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 get it, get it. Oh, he got it, boys. He got it. Ah, come on over here with me. Come on. That's yeah, crappy. Right over that brush. I see him running over to it. Yeah, hit it. Come on, crap. Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah, we got him. Right over the brush. He got us a crap here. He don't feel too big. Uh, nope, it ain't a crap. It's a, another one of them sunfish. Uh, at least he sees my lure. I'm going to tell you a little bit about this casting spoon. I'm going to put this thing. That's a cotton cordell and uh man i'll tell you what you can catch bass you've seen it bass crappy uh for the main part today we've caught crappies off of brush and off of stumps out in the channel on some uh humps uh but it's been very successful and i'll leave all that information in the description so I'm using moss as my color scheme. I got my gain set at 91, or up, I like that anywhere between uh, 80 to 100. Um, my color limit is set at the fall. Actually, it's on zero down here. And, uh, but if I go back, my uh, forward range right now, I got set at 90. And as I move closer up to uh, the stump, or the brush pile i may bring that back a little bit and that'll give me a little bit better uh sight of my lure or uh, the jig i'm throwing uh, let's see on the uh appearance my uh color limit is at zero color gain is at 91 and i'm using that moss color and then uh my no noise reject i got on low uh and then I, my tvg is on uh off and ghost reject i either set that off or low and uh that's basically what i'm i'm using today and you can see what i'm looking at as we uh or as we fishing now my gain i got it at 60 but sometimes uh i usually run it up to about 65 or 68 Another thing, uh, guys, is, you know, if, you, if, if you're fortunate enough to have two uh, chart plotters, uh, my, my one on top, I use it for my mapping. And I can zoom in to actually see, uh, you know, direction I'm going as far as those stumps or brush piles in the water ahead of me. And um, I calibrated my uh, the ls34 on here so you know you can see the cone i got on here now i'll tell you something about this cone uh unless you got the steady cast this ain't gonna be no big help to you that little steady garmin steady cast that you got the install uh, you really need that to use the uh uh this feature um when you after you do your calibration to actually see where you that cone is or what you're looking at as far as your live scope which way it's pointing so i'm getting my boat set up where i'm going to throw and i want you to see this jig go down there and i'm going to play right over top we're going to go right over top of that stump i saw it all right here we go you see my jig right there okay now i'm going to i'm going to bounce it right over and them fish those crappy should be a big crappy in there we're just gonna go right over top you see my jig bouncing i'm gonna go right over this stump now he should come up and grab that i believe this is a crappy come on man we do yeah i think this is a crappy he's at the top with him yeah decent crappy too all right there you go 
scoping for crappy. All right. Now he wouldn't be a keeper for me. They gotta be at least eight inches on this lake, but okay. I think that's still too. That's kind of little. In my opinion. Yeah. Okay. ACC crappy stick. We're gonna throw this Bobby Garland down to him. A little slower presentation, kind of. Come on, now. There we go. I see you. I see you now. Oh, yeah. That nerve feels good. Yeah. Come on up here. There we go. And then 21 foot of water. Water temperature 69 degrees. There you go. Not a keeper for me, but fun catching. You may like this presentation better than. Oh, there he is right there. I think they like this better. There comes our crappy. Woo! Alright. Alright, so they like that pink head. And that's uh, that Barbie Garland. So that's a little bit better presentation for them, I guess. And that's not a keeper for me. Uh, I still like it like this. I now, I'm going to tell you, show you one little thing here. I got my jig. Uh, you see how it's to pull down? Well, if you take you some super glue and uh, show you what I'm doing. Okay, what you want to do on your jig, keep it from sliding down, put you a little bit of super glue up there in the front of it and then run your uh, jig over top of it. And that boy ain't going to come off right now. now I got it. It's going to stay on there without sliding off. Uh, uh, here we go. Yeah, he couldn't stand that. Crappy coming up here. Crappy coming up. Ooh. Just about swallowed it. It's almost. There we go. Alright, we're gonna throw in there again on. Man, they all in them bait balls. Hey, boy that's a bass here boy I got a bass oh oh he's gonna come off on me I ain't careful come on this is the bass yeah. feels good too he was out there running that bait There we go. Yeah, I'll tell you. Yeah. There you go. Hey guys, thank you for hanging in there with me. We had a great time on the water this afternoon. Uh, caught some uh, with scope and uh, got us some crappies. A couple of them was good size and the rest of them went up, you know, they're just too small. But uh, anyway, I had a good time doing that and I'm glad I kind of get around to show you what I usually do on uh, crappy fish if I'm scoping them. Uh, and we actually did line some uh, with uh, just the, the Bobby Garland right over top and I, maybe I got a couple of them doing that. But uh, all in all, we had a good day, I think. Uh, caught a bass or two. Um, I got some... Uh, trips i got planned i actually had two planned for north carolina mountains to trout fish this month but of course they had their uh that big storm and uh, uh that hurricane brought all that water over and flooded out the hatchery flooded i mean just towns got destroyed um so i'm giving them some time to recoup 
Well, actually, they already put up a big billboard wanting people to come up there and uh, support the economy and get things back to normal. But uh, toward the end of the month, the tribal associations will come out with a statement on what they're going to do about the hatchery that got flooded. So I'm hoping they'll be back in play by November, December. But anyway, uh, leave your comments. If you got any thoughts about the fishing I'm doing, uh, something you want to see, I'll try to do that. Um, and until uh, the next time, God bless all of you and have a great week.